All right, here we go, Wilson. Got a new one in the house. We huh. just finished shooting the video about the Bose speaker. Now we're moving on to something a little bit smaller, which is, you know, I really, you know what, in, in speaker classes, you like the minis, like the micros, the mid-size, like the Bose ones we did, or like the mid-mid-size, like an Extreme 3 size, or the big, you know, the big boy, like the Alt 7 boombox. I don't know, I like the small speakers, man. Like these micros? Yeah, those little ones. I really like the micros and the small ones, like the Flip 6 size. Okay. Those are my two favorite classes of a speaker. I, I would agree. I don't know, I think they're more useful as far as like, you know, you can just take them places. Yeah, they're like grab and goes kind of thing. Yeah, stuff. yeah. And speaking of grabbing and taking it places, we got this, the, um, I almost said JBL, the Soundcore <laughs> Select, is select go select four go there's four of these things i didn't even know this thing existed until like a week ago i didn't even know that thing was a thing either so this looks like something what does it look like wilson it looks like the jbl it looks like the go four from jbl and that was that's i think that's the direct competitor here because they're both five watt speakers since i got the box here uh we're gonna go into some specs because i don't remember things i i can read though so i'm gonna read 20 hour battery life we got uh, five watt vibrant sound. You can TWS pair these things. You cannot connect them to a hundred of them like a lot of other speakers, but you can definitely pair them up in stereo. Uh, lightweight, compact design and IP67 protection and it is floatable. Wilson, how often do you float your speakers? <laughs> Never. Dude, don't <laughs> discount it. It could happen. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Remember you go noodling. You, if you go noodling, <laughs> you will clip this somewhere or have it on your little boat or your little canoe and then all of a sudden you reach down, you get your catfish like, yeah, man, man, I got one. And then your speaker falls into the water and it needs to float so you can retrieve it. Dude, the only reason I know noodling is because of you. What if you ever noodled and didn't even know you was noodling? <laughs> this is starting to sound nasty. <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's move on, bro. <laughs> yeah, oh, wait, we got one more spec here. We got a non-band equalizer. Do you really need nine bands on a five watt? That's insane. Soundcore, I appreciate you looking out. Nine band equalizer on this five watt micro speaker, I think it's a bit much. I'd rather have it than and need, or not need it and have it than to need it and not have it, but it's a little excessive. <laughs> what you think, Wilson? I, I say it's excessive. I don't think I'm really gonna sit there and adjust each one. I ain't doing that mess. Anyways, I like it. I like the design. This colorway is cute. What is What color is this? Is this mint? No, that's not mint. Seafoam green? Yeah, it's something. I don't know. Like a seafoam green and baby blue. I like it. It's cute. Okay. We got a little platform on the bottom so you can fire it forward. And then in case you want to share your music, you got some little feet back there. Wilson, are you getting that? I know you cross-eyed and sometimes your vision gets blurry. So you got your little feet right there. These feet really stick out, man. These are like real feet. And then you got your platform that you can stand it on so you can just sit it down. And you see that, Wilson? It like, it's off of the table. It's not even connected to the table except for the feet. It's got a lot of spun it there, but then you can sit it up like that. And then you got your loop that you can stick your thumb into and snatch that bad boy up and talk about it. Because we do need to talk about some things, man. And that is the build quality. This is new for Soundcore. I ain't never seen a Soundcore speaker built like this. This is fabric, okay? First of all, we got a lot of fabric on here. Got a lot of rubber. This is a completely different look from uh, Soundcore. And I'm here for it all day. On the outside, Right there, look, Wilson. We got your power button. We got your Bluetooth connector button. Then we got a plus and minus, and then we got your play and pause right there. And then you got to open up that speaker buoy. Get up in there, dude. Get up in there. And then you got your uh, your USB-C charging port right there. Close that speaker buoy. And now you are IP67 and floatable once again. So now it's it's noodling ready at this point. This is one colorway. I think they have a green one. I saw the green one online. I like that green one, bro. I got to show you online. Hold up. I'm going to show you right now. No, we ain't got no time for that. I'm going to show you the black one since I got it. <laughs> but the green one is fire. I really want a green one. But this black one is hot. What do you think about this? I like the black one. This is nice. That's I was really good. Usually when I see black online, I'm like, oh, another black speaker. No, this is fire. I like this. It's got the uh, black with the gray accents. It's got that nice shimmer to it. That's what's up. Soundcore, you did a great job on the design of these speakers. But now we got to get into some important stuff, Wilson. It's that app. I want to see this app. Hold up. I got to show the people. Let's turn this bad boy on. It's one tap to turn it on, tap and hold to turn it off. And once it gets connected, oh, wait, I'm going to the wrong thing. I got to share my screen with you guys so y'all can see what this app looks like. I think you're going to like it. It's very basic, 
not too much, easy to navigate, not a lot of clutter there for you. Let's get into it. And there you go. Boom, we're connected. Let's get into that. And then, okay, see, like I said, it's, it's boring, but in a good way. We got our volume slider right there, your play and pause, and then you got your EQ, you got some presets, all right? Soundcore signature, which is what I keep it on, as it sounds best, and then you got balance, you got treble boost, and then you got bass boost. That's what's up. Then we back out of there, and then we can get into that nine band EQ, which, Wilson, do you EQ your five watt speakers? <laughs> no. Why not, man? Don't you need to get all your hertz and your, and your, your frequencies out of this thing? If, if anything, I really just adjust the mids and highs. That's really all I do. All right. Well, you can customize it, and you can have some custom, like, multiple custom presets for yourself. Anyways, I don't mess with that, but I'm going back to this preset because I like that Soundcore signature. And that's enough sharing my app because you don't need to be seeing what's on my phone all the time with what I'm doing. Now, we got to give you a little sound check. This is a Wilson sound check. So this, is ain't, this ain't the official that I'm gonna put at the end of the video for you guys. This is the Wilson sound check. And because it's a Wilson sound check, we gotta play Wilson's favorite song. It is the song of the people. You set my soul on fire. What'd you think, Wilson? Hold up, let that beat drop, hold up. What do you think? You, Sounds pretty good so far. All right, that's fifty percent volume. What do you think? It's not bad. I'm gonna turn it up. That's eighty. Yeah, it's not that bad. Not that bad. Yeah. He keeps saying, not that bad. Yeah. Maybe we should put that on the thumbnail. It's the sound course to let go for. It's not that bad. <laughs> <laughs> Just hold it like that and put a little, little bling on my teeth. <laughs> it's not that bad. <laughs> oh my God. I think it sounds pretty good, but due to its size, let's do a little comparison here, man. Get up in there, Wilson. So you got the select go for. I think that's what it's called. Select, select, go for. Select, select for, for go. go. Okay, uh -huh. whatever. <laughs> and then the you select. Got, and then you got this JBL Clip Five right here. It is the largest speaker of the bunch, right? It's it just really like eclipses the Go Four from JBL. And then if you take away this actual clip part of the Eclipse Five, it's actually a much bigger speaker than that as well. Can, are you seeing this, Will? Yeah, you can it's, see the it's size. It's taller. It's thicker. It's it's everything her. So with that being said, being a five watt speaker as well as this being a five watt speaker, personally, I think I, I, it sounds great, right? It sounds great to me just listening to it. But when I think about having such a small speaker and like it's the biggest speaker of the bunch, I kind of, my, my brain tells me it should have more sound. Does that make sense? All right, it's valid. Yeah, because yeah. because it, it's bigger, but it's only five watts. You gotta you gotta understand that. So what I'm gonna do now for you, Wilson, before we let the people actually hear these things, is I'm gonna kind of give you a brief comparison to the Go Four, the JBL Go Four, and uh, let me see what you think about that. Because I know you are a JBL hater, but you do like the JBL Go Four, right? I think it's really good. All right, so I'm gonna do both of them at fifty percent. Let me let me let me do this. Let me I want to cheat for one of them. All right, we're not gonna play Soul on Fire. We're gonna play something else. I don't know what this is. I did not choose this. Well, let's let's let it roll. Oh, it's, it's coming in kind of hard. Okay, okay. Well, that's both speakers. Hold up. This is JBL Go Four, right here. This is that uh, fifty? Fifty percent. Sound cool. That sounds almost the same. JBL. So the highs are a little higher on the sound core, but they, they basically sound very similar. I'm getting that too. You want to do like an 80% real quick? Yeah, let's do an 80%. All right, let me turn both up to 80. 
and then go play the JBL first. <laughs> What do you think? I gotta say the highs are a little better on the sound core, but I wouldn't be mad for either one of them. They, they, <clears throat> the mids and the lows sound like almost identical on both of them. The mids actually, to me, sound hollow. <laughs> on that one, really? At, at 80%, yeah. These, this one sounds more balanced. This is, dude, I hate to say that because I'm such good friends with sound core. <laughs> but, but <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, yeah, the eighty percent test on this particular song. Let me see. Ah. I damn near hear an echo in here. <laughs> I don't know if that's part of the song or not. No. Do you don't hear that? Let's let's try a different song. Okay, let's do a different song. Is that okay? Let's do your favorite song. My what? Your favorite song on here. What? I don't know how. You know how you listen to music and then you, you end up listening to one song that you wanted to hear and then you let the playlist just go, right? And all of a sudden it just, screw! <laughs> it just takes a hard right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> and it just goes into all kinds of other stuff. All right, let me see here. Uh, what is this? All right. To me, the mids and lows sound the same. Okay, fair enough. Fine, yeah, be that way. The highs are just different. Now we gotta connect this. Let's see here. All right, we have the sound core select four go and the JBL flip or clip five. Oh man, my phone is acting up again. All right, I don't know how we gonna do this. Let's disconnect both of them and then we will reconnect both of them. Let's connect this Clint 5. There we go. And then we will connect the Go 4. And we are good. All right, full volume. JBL. That was a terrible test. <laughs> was, I, did, I did a bad job, dude. I did a bad job. Let me take it back to 50%. We'll start off with the sound core real quick. That was terrible. My bad. All right, here we go. Okay. JBL. 50%. Sound core. What's the thing? I, I got I to gotta say that the sound core is reminding me why I love to go so much. The go for the regular one. Why? Wow. I don't know. I just like the way the mids and the lows sound. On okay. The, you just don't like this. I really don't. It's just piercing to me on those highs. Why are you always trashing the clip five? I just don't like it, man. Dude, you can't just be hating JBL like that. Like, the people don't like that. They, <laughs> they don't. They get upset when you say JBL is not as good. Well, you don't, play, you don't pay me clip five money. True. <laughs> but that don't mean you got to just genuinely not like them. <laughs> I got to like what I can try to afford. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, speaking of afford, wow, let me get my opinion on sound real quick. Then I'll give you some sound samples. But speaking of afford... Or I, I got to talk about the sound first. So to me, this sounds pretty much identical. Damn near. Damn near the same, right? It's not until we get into high volumes, in my opinion, the sound core mids start to sound a little distant where everything still stays balanced. Everything just, you know, 
It is what it is. This one pulls back on the mids to me. Wilson doesn't think so. Wilson just does not like the Clip 6. No. So it's uh, whatever. But this is a 10 watt speaker, okay? That we got double here. But this is the Battery Life King at 20 hours. And also the king of price because it's $25. Dude, $25. That's a cheap speaker. It's not 25, it's $25. 25. <laughs> <laughs> $25, dude. You could actually buy two of these for $50, right? Mm -hmm. Or one of these for $79. We're talking retail price. One of these for $79. Or one of these for $40, $39. So this is the most expensive, being $80. This is $25. And this is $40. We're talking retail dollars here. So if you're on a budget, Definitely go with Soundcore because it sounds fantastic. It sounds literally the same, pretty much the same as a Go 4, which costs a few dollars, well, fifteen dollars more. But and you're actually seemingly getting JBL build quality. Have you felt these? Uh, I felt the Go 4, but I haven't felt the, the Select. They feel the same. Oh, they do. Huh? I'm serious. Kind of like the material that they use. Yeah, feel that one. Oh yeah, basically. Yeah. Dude, it's a simple speaker. It's cheap, but it sounds good. That's all I got to say about these things, man. What do you think, Wilson? It's a good buy. Would you recommend? I would. All right. So on a scale of nine to ten, you know we we never do this. On a scale of uh, I said nine to ten. <laughs> <laughs> on a scale of one to ten, what would you give this? Uh, I'll say a seven point eight. Seven point eight. Yeah. What what could they do to give it like a, a eight, nine, or ten? Uh, if it was a little smaller. Oh, yeah. It feels like go size. Yeah. 10? Uh, I would say like an 8 to 9, somewhere around that range. Well, how do you get a 10? Oh, I don't know. Dude, you're just asking for too much. <laughs> Put a microphone in there. How about that? Oh. Okay. So, yeah, I would definitely give this a 10 until you bring up a microphone because I do want a microphone in the JBL Go 4. If they had a microphone, 10 all day. And that's what would make this a 10. So, Wilson gives this a 7.8 because it's not smaller and it doesn't have a mic. Does it? I don't think it has a mic. Let me see here. Let me see. Let me call you, Wilson. Let me see here. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Nope, no microphone. Either way, I'm not an expert on this kind of stuff, but what I do know is for $25, you can get yourself some good sound, man. Sound Corey did a good job. Now y'all keep being good to each other and I'll see you when I see you.